Hey there gamers, ever wanted to peek behind the curtain of a massive game like GTA V? Maybe you're dreaming of creating your own mods, those awesome tweaks that let you fly a car like a spaceship or swap Trevor's wardrobe for something a little more stylish. Whatever your reason, extracting game files is your first step into the world of GTA V customization. Think of it like this. Imagine GTA V is a delicious burger. Extracting the files is like separating the patty, the cheese, the bun, all the good stuff. Once you've got the ingredients separated, you can rearrange them, add your own flavors, and make the burger uniquely yours. But before you grab your digital spatula, let's gather everything you'll need for this file frying adventure. All right, chefs, before we start cooking, let's make sure we have all the right tools. Don't worry, we're not talking about anything fancy or expensive. In fact, you might already have everything you need sitting right there on your computer. First up, you'll need a program called an archiver. This handy tool is like a digital Swiss army knife, letting you open up those big compressed game files. Think of it as the key to unlocking the GTA V treasure chest. Two popular options are 7-Zip, totally free, and WinRAR. Next, you'll need a text editor, but not the one your grandma uses to write emails. We need something a little more powerful, something that can handle those geeky configuration files. Notepad++ is a great option, and like 7-Zip, it's free. Finally, and most importantly, you'll need a copy of GTA V. Sounds obvious, right? But here's the catch. You'll need the PC version of the game. Console versions are locked up tighter than Fort Knox. Got everything? Awesome. Let's get this extraction party started. All right, folks, it's showtime. Let's dive into the nitty gritty of extracting those GTA V files. Don't worry, I'll walk you through each step like we're taking a leisurely stroll through Vinewood Hills. Step one, locate your GTA V installation folder. This is where the magic happens. It's usually found in your program files or Steam library. Look for a folder named Grand Theft Auto V. You can't miss it. Step two, fire up your trusty archiver, 7-Zip or WinRAR, remember? Now navigate to that GTA V folder you just found. Inside, you'll see a bunch of files, but the ones we're interested in are the big boys, the RPF files. These bad boys contain all the juicy game data. Step three, right click on one of those DARPF files and choose the extract to option. Your archiver will ask you where you want to save the extracted files. I recommend creating a new folder on your desktop to keep things organized. Step four, now grab yourself a snack and settle in. Extracting large files can take a while, especially if your computer runs on hamster power. Think of it as a good time to catch up on your favorite show or finally learn how to play the ukulele. Once the extraction is complete, you'll have a brand spanking new folder filled with all the GTA V goodies. Congratulations, you're officially a digital archeologist. Section four, speed bumps and detours, common issues and fixes. Okay, so you've followed all the steps, but something went wrong? No worries, even the best chefs burn a dish sometimes. Let's troubleshoot some common extraction hiccups. Problem number one, your archiver is throwing a temper tantrum and refusing to open the RPF files. Solution, make sure you've downloaded the latest version of your archiver. Sometimes older versions don't play nice with newer game files. It's like trying to fit a square peg in a round hole. Not gonna happen. Problem number two, the extraction process is moving slower than a snail in a traffic jam. Solution. First, take a deep breath and remember, patience is a virtue. Second, make sure you're not running any other heavy programs in the background. Think of your computer like a car engine. The more weight it's carrying, the slower it'll go. Problem number three, you've extracted the files, but they look like gibberish. Solution. Don't panic. It's not an alien language, probably. You might be trying to open the files directly without the proper software. Remember, some of these files need to be opened with specific programs like Notepad++ to make sense. If you encounter any other issues, don't hesitate to search online forums or ask for help from the awesome GTA modding community. They're a friendly bunch, always happy to lend a hand. Section five, you did it. Now go wild, responsibly. Give yourself a pat on the back, my friend. You've successfully extracted the heart and soul of GTA V. You've unlocked a world of possibilities from creating your own wacky mods to simply exploring the game's inner workings. But with great power comes great responsibility, or at least that's what Uncle Ben said, right? Remember, while modding can be a blast, 
Always be respectful of other players and play fair. Don't be that guy who spawns a tank in a race car competition. Nobody likes that guy. So go forth, my digital explorer, and unleash your creativity upon Los Santos. Just remember to have fun, be safe, and always keep a spare parachute handy. You never know when you might need to make a quick escape from a rampaging rhino or a horde of angry pedestrians who don't appreciate your new Explode on Contact mod.